talking about um, graphing proportional relationships. And one of the things we're going to be talking about today is something called the constant of proportionality or the COP. And I'm going to explain what that is in a second. But um, I'm just going to start with an example. It says when I make scrambled eggs, I use three eggs for every two people. So that means if I had two people, I would need three eggs. If I had four people, I'd need six eggs. And one of the other things I'd like to point out is if I had zero people, I would need zero eggs. So two and three, uh oh. If I had two people, I'd need three eggs. If I had four people, I'd need six eggs. If I had six people, I would need nine eggs. And once again, you can verify that this truly is um, a proportional relationship because you can see that if I were to cross use cross product, two times six is 12, three times four is 12, four times nine is 36, six times six is 36. And I'm starting at zero, zero. And let's see, my x-axis is, I'm talking about people and this here, I'm talking about eggs. So what you're going to see is, as I'm doing this, if I were to continue on, I'd say, oh, you know what? Maybe I can go ahead and do this. Two, three, four, six, six, nine, eight, twelve, and I'm going to get rid of this one here. So as I'm continuing on, you you should see if I were to take a look, if I were to plot these you can see that there is a relationship going up. Now, I left one out because I didn't find my unit rate. Now, once again, if I take, I had, let's go back here. I had quantified eggs. How many would, what would my unit rate be for eggs per person? So it'd be three eggs divided by two people and that would give me one and a half eggs. I'm gonna to have to talk one and a half eggs per person. And clearly, I'm not gonna write one and a half eggs per person because I can't make half an egg. So, but I am gonna put it here and it should, it looks like it should fall my line. And sure enough, when I do 1.5, it works. Now here's the catch. I was talking about constant of proportionality. I'm talking about equations, so I'm going to write an equation. Now, y equals, and here's the deal, in order to find out what your equation is, you're just going to look at your unit rate. When x is 1, y is 1 1.5 plus 0. And I'm going to put down plus 0 simply because, oh, let me see if I can do this. Um, plus zero because it starts at zero. It starts at zero. And if I had, my unit rate is one. And if I zoom in on this, you'll see, sure enough, when I have one person, I need one and a half eggs. Now this is super useful because if I want to know how many eggs would I need for, let's say 20 people, let's see, I could just, zoom out and take a look at my graph. And when I have 20 people, it looks like I would need 30 eggs. Oh, let's see if, there we go. 20 people, I would need 30 eggs. Now I'm gonna take a look at another example. And once again, how did I get this equation? It's always gonna be y equals something x plus something. Now, because it's, I'm starting at zero, zero, it's always plus zero. And because my unit rate was 1.5, that's where it, that's where I get the 1.5 from. So my constant of proportionality here, oops, my constant of proportionality is 1.5. So my equation is y equals 1.5x plus zero. Now I'm going to look at another one. So it says a carousel cost me $8 for four people. All right, so let's say $8 for four people. Well, let's see. Once again, if I had zero people, it would cost me $0. So 
So if I had, let's see, one, two, three, four, if I had four people, it would cost me $8. Uh, so if I have half that many, it would cost me $4. Oh, let me get rid of this down here. If I had half as many again, oh, you know what? I suppose I could just do this. It'd be one, two, it'd be two, four, three, four, eight. And then that. I'm gonna explain how I did this one more time. I know that if I had zero people, and let me change my axis here. If I had zero people, it cost me zero dollars. If I had four people, it's going to cost me $8. So half of that would mean if I had two people, it cost me $4. If I had one person, it would cost me $2. And once again, it's because these are all proportional relationships. That's why this works. It only works because they're proportional relationships. Now, one times four is four. Two times two is four. Two times eight is 16. Four times four is 16. If I had 40 people, or um, let's say 40 people, that should cost me $80. Because 4 times 8 is 320, 8 times 4 is 320, 40 is 320. Now it's not even on my picture so, or graph, so it doesn't really, ma really matter too much. So now let's see. What's my constant of proportionality? Well, it looks like my unit rate is 1, 2. So I'm going to say my constant of proportionality is 2. So it's going to be 2x plus 0. And once again, it's because if I start at 0, that's what this zero means. That's where I'm starting. I'm starting at zero. It's going up to, for every $2 I spend, one person get in. So, I'm gonna go back to here. My unit rate is gonna be dollars per person, which was eight divided by four, eight dollars divided by four people, Gave me a unit rate of $2 for every one person, which means two is my constant of proportionality, which means my equation is y equals two x plus zero, all right? And that is 